Last summer, Don visited his friends and asked them to come to his home. He asked Bill. He asked Sam. He asked Phil, his brother Alan, and Paul. He also asked Marvin and Bert and Victor. They met Tuesday afternoon. Don had asked the boys over because he had wanted to start a club. But this wasn't exactly what he had in mind. His sister, Alice, didn't like it either. Won't you please quiet down? What went wrong? Don had an idea. I think we've got to talk one at a time. That's right. We don't quit talking at the same time, we won't get anywhere. It's going to be an uproar, Don. Wait, you're still not talking one at a time. I think we've got to take turns, not talk when anyone else does. Then who gets to talk first? Don thought it over. He remembered how it had been in school. There, when someone wanted to talk, he raised his hand. Usually, whoever raised his hand first got to talk first. Of course, this was different from school. I don't think that we have to raise our hands, but why don't we make sure the person before has finished? Okay. Can I talk now? Yeah, okay. What I want to say is, I don't know why you want us to get together. We've already got scout meetings and our ball team. Listen, wait a while. I don't love the scout. Crowd. And we don't have a chance to talk much about our... Wait, let's let Phil talk first. Why not me? Because Don is running this meeting. It's his house. That's one way of deciding. Because Don was running the meeting, he had to do a lot of the talking. Now listen. This won't have anything to do with scouts. It'll cost a dime and won't have anything to do with the ball team. I mean, we'll have our regular meetings, but not the same day as other things. What was that about? Don seemed to be talking about several things all at once. Why don't we talk first about what day we're going to meet? School's going to start soon, and a lot of us will have to be home by five. Bill is talking about only one thing, meeting times. The only way to get anything done is to talk about one thing at a time. My sister home after school. And Marvin has to go to a special class after his regular school. Is that right, Marvin? You don't have to go every day, do you? No, just Tuesday and Thursday. Can't you talk louder? I can't hear. I said no, just Tuesday and Thursday. That was better. Loud enough for all to hear, but not too loud. And it seemed that the boys had learned a few things about talking. Most of them tried to take turns, and each tried to make sure someone else wasn't talking before he began. And when two boys wanted to talk, they let Don decide who would talk first. Though it was hard to do, the boys tried to talk about one thing at a time. And whoever was talking tried to talk loud enough. This made things easier for the boys. And it kept them from disturbing Don's sister Alice and her friends in the next room. Alice was teaching Margot and Virginia to play her new game. First, you spin a number. Then, whatever number comes up, you move that many spaces ahead. If you land on a green square, you get an extra turn, and you spin again. If you land on a blue square, you stay there. But 
If you land on a red square, you take a card. That lets you know what to do next. Okay? It's your turn, Margo. Well, Alice talked about one thing at a time, and she talked loud enough for the others to hear. So Margo should have known what to do, if she'd been listening. Oh, that's not right. You only take a card if you land on red. Why the mistake? Margo thought she knew. I'm sorry. I guess I wasn't listening. Listening can be important. What's the use of talking clearly if the people you're talking to don't know how to listen? But how do you listen? Alice and her friends learned something about this as they talked about the game. Now, in this part of the game, you're supposed to say the number of cards you're going to pick. The person the to the right of the last player card. begins. And I don't then think it's fair for you to turn. take three. Please, don't talk while Alice is explaining. A person can't listen well and talk at the same time. So a good listener is quiet while others speak. The girls wanted to learn the game, so they tried to be quiet and to listen. I was saying, I spin once, then you spin once. Whoever spins the highest number gets to move ahead ten spaces. Whoever spins the lowest number has to move back ten. The others don't move at all. They I'm just... sorry, Marka, but that noise bothers me. It's hard to listen to what Alice is saying. I guess I never thought of it that way before. I'll stop. Well, go ahead about the game. I guess that's all I can remember now. Do you have any questions? Yes. You said whoever spins the lowest number has to go back ten spaces. Does that mean ten spaces from where you are when you spin, or ten spaces from where you would be if you took your... Alice, are you listening? Yes. Well, I'm sorry, but it feels funny to talk with you looking the other way. So Alice looked right at Virginia as she talked, and she found that it really seemed to help Virginia speak. Alice thought about that, and about other things she and her friends had said about listening. And as the game went on, she tried to be quiet while others were talking, to pay attention, not play or do anything else at the same time and to look at the person who was talking. A few minutes ago, the boys had also learned some things about talking and listening. Things you might want to remember when you're with your friends or your family. For instance, riding in a car. It's especially important to speak loud enough, but not too loud. Loud talk can be disturbing to the driver. At dinner, too, it's good to take turns talking. When something important has happened and you're excited, you might try to say a lot at once. But remember, it's better to talk about one thing at a time. When you're shopping and want to learn about what you're buying, of course you should listen while others speak. And you know, it's easier to learn something new if you look at a person who's talking and stop doing other things. Perhaps watching Don and Alice and their friends, you've learned something too. Something about talking, letting others know what you think, and listening, learning the things that others may have to say. Mm -hmm.